Welcome to Scratch 3.0, and we're going to look at creating variables to create a class survey. So the first thing we need to do, uh, click on variables over here, and we are going to make three variables. And this is a question that we are going to be asking our users. So we're going to ask them how they're feeling, and three possible answers, let's make another one, would be calm, again, you don't have to put in these variables. You could make different ones if you like. And that could be our final one. And you can see these variables automatically appear for our users. So when our program starts, we're going to so uh, click the green arrow. And we would like to show these variables on screen. So we're going to show the variable calm, and we're going to show the variable great, and we're going to show the variable not good. So let's change these drop downs so we can see all three. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Now that we've got that, at the beginning of the program, when they press the green flag for the first time, we need to set these variables all to zero. So we basically want it to forget all the data from before. So now we've got our variables here, and they're on screen. And when we start our program each time, things are going to be set to zero. Now, how do we change the variables once the program is running? The way we're going to do that is with sensing. So in sensing, when, say, the left arrow is pressed, then we want our variable to change by one. And then we're going to put this into an if and then block. This is called a conditional. So if the left arrow is pressed, then it will change by one. And sometimes people are a little bit heavy handed and might press for slightly too long. And this will mean that the, the calm number, the calm counter, would go up, even though only one person's pressed it. So what we're going to do is put in wait one second in here. And we're going to repeat this process two more times. So we go into sensing. We go into key. This time, we're going to choose a different arrow, the right arrow, for example. And we'll take out our variables. And this time, we're going to change this one to not good and take out our conditional, put that in here. And so you can see the pattern. We're going to do it one more time. So let's scroll down here. If then, doesn't matter what order we do things in. Let's have our down arrow. And our variables, change it to right. Oh, and I forgot that we need to wait one second here and wait one second here. Now, this is almost a program, but it needs connecting. And because we've got these conditionals, so it will say, if this happens, then this will happen. Or if this happens, then this will happen. Or if this happens, then this will happen. But we want this to keep repeating because we want multiple users, many, many people, to share how they are feeling. So let's go into our control and let's put in a loop. And let's put this in the loop and it will open up its mouth nice and wide. And there's one last thing that I've forgotten to do, but we can do it now is here it says set calm to zero and set calm to zero. But we want to set great to zero and we want to set not good to zero. And there we have it. So now when we press the green flag, if somebody were feeling great, then they'd press the down arrow. Or if somebody were feeling calm, then they might press the left arrow. And you can see our counters going up as our users start inputting how they feel. 
In the next video, I'm going to show you how we can change the looks. Because at the moment, this is looking a little bit bare. We need to make it more visually appealing, more aesthetically pleasing for our users.